Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. My video today is I'm going to be showing uh, several painting dried results. Uh, and this first painting, um, my daughter helped me with it and I'm gonna call it Beaded Tree. I'll get a little bit closer and show you some of the particulars of it. You can see that she put pearl beads on this tree. Um, and we have stones underneath it, stones going through the creek here. Very colorful painting. It's a 16 by 20, and I'm calling this one Beaded Tree. Very pretty, okay? Okay, this next one is my video number 121, and it is a gallery wrapped 12 by 16 inch painting. Um, it's a puddle ring and dirty pour. And the star in this uh, painting, I'll get closer, is the rose gold. Turned out very nice with the black background. There is some silver in there too, sterling silver. But again, the rose gold is the star. And I'm calling this one rose gold circles. Okay, this next painting is my video number 167, and it's a sandwich flip cup, and I'm calling it Summertime, because when I did this video too, I explained that these are all very bright summery colors, and what I got excited about this painting is these cells that I got. They're very big and very bright, just a very bright painting. And again, reminded me of summertime. This next painting I'm calling Purple Flame. It's a Dutch pour, and I got some really nice uh, white cells in it, and I used a lighter yellow background, and I think it turned out really pretty. 12 by 16 inch canvas, again, it's called Purple Flame. Okay, this is a painting I worked on off camera and I'm just calling it Rocks. It's a 16 by 20 inch canvas and it was just a flip cup, I believe. And what I did is I went and I um, took a marker and I made circles that looked like the shape of rocks and then I did paint the background black. This does need um, a spray finish on it yet though. But again, this is just called Racks and it's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Okay, this next one is, and I will get back here so you can see the whole painting. This is my video number 162. Very, very pretty and colorful. I just love the vividness of this blue and the purple in it. I got a lot of different cells, and this was a dirty cup pour with enamel. I didn't really get that cloudy effect that you get sometimes with the enamel, but it, it really is very, very colorful, colorful and a lot going on in this painting. Again, it's a 16 by 20 inch, and I'm calling this one Busy. This next painting I did off camera, at first I thought it looked a little bit dark, but I'll tell you what's saving this painting is these beautiful purple flowers, and especially this purple flower here on the right hand side. This is called the cupping and covering technique that I learned from Lamb from Heartfelt Artistry. And if you ever get a chance, check out Lamb's channel. She does beautiful work. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm calling it Purple Influence. Okay, I'm calling this little painting Copper Has the Blues, because as you can see, those are the two main colors in this painting, and it looks to me like it's just a flip cup, and I did do a little enhancement there with a, a black, a little black pen, it looks like, drew some black lines in there. And this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. Again, it's called Copper Has the Blues. Okay, this is my video number 163. 
beautiful painting. Um, it's a swipe with copper. I actually did use the color copper to swipe over everything else. And you can just see those beautiful cells I got in there. I'm calling this Copper Burst, and it's a 12 by 12 inch canvas. This next one, again, I did off camera. Again, it's the cupping and covering technique that I learned from Lam of Heartfelt Artistry. I'm calling this one the Garden of Eden, and it's a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And I'll show you just some of those beautiful flowers that I got with uh, balloon kisses. Really nice. Again, 14 by 14 inch, and this is called the Garden of Eden. Okay, my, ne my next painting is a 12 by 16 inch, and it's just called Purples and Pinks, and it's a basic swipe. And I did get some of that wispy white there at the top, which I, if you've watched my uh, videos, you know that I, I go for the wispy look. Again, just purple and pinks, and it's a 12 by 16. Okay, this is my video number 175, done not too very long ago. And I just love the colors in this. Again, it's the cupping and the covering technique with balloon kisses. And I'm calling this Pastel Paradise. And this is a little 10 by 10. This colorful painting I did off camera. And I used some of the Color Art um, primary pigments for this. And I was just starting to learn how to use these. And I just think this turned out very colorful and pretty. And I'm just calling this one Colorful Fun. And it's a 12 by 16 inch canvas. Okay, this beautiful painting I did off camera. I just played and played and played with it. And this really reminds me of lilacs for some reason. And that's what I'm calling it, Lilac Field. And I'll take you from the left to the right. Just beautiful colors in there. And it's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Okay, this painting, and you can, you can actually see me uh, reflecting off of this. This is a Da Vinci Pro Panel board. It's a 16 by 20 and it's three quarter inches thick. It's a birch panel and you're seeing reflection because I resined this with two coats of resin. And there's a lot of copper going on. Very, very beautiful. Okay. This painting I did do uh, on camera. It is number 166. It's an acrylic swipe. And the star in this painting is the gold and the deep sapphire. I actually ran lines of the deep sapphire down through the painting. And it is a 12 by 24. So it's thinner but longer. Again, this is called Swipe Away. Okay, this is my video number 119 and I will get back here as far as I can. This is another one of the Da Vinci Birch Pro panels. And this one is 18 by 24 by one inch deep. And it does have a couple of coats of resin on it. Very shiny, very beautiful painting. Lots of colors. And I am calling this one Colorful Run. And I have one last painting I'd like to show you. It is sold, but I, I did want to show everybody this painting. And this is a painting that I did off camera. It's just a fun, whimsical little tree with colorful little flowers on it. And I do do commission work. 
So if anyone would ever like anything commissioned, just get a hold of me. All my contacts um, are in the drop down box in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for spending time with me. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.